pretty ramshackle skate park there. I'm just inside a park here, making my way hopefully to the dog cemetery. So, uh, so this is Mark Kramer here. He's he's taking me on a little uh, tour here. What a great of... pleasure for me. So, where are we? We're in a city called Jean Villiers, mm -hmm. where Clint Eastwood once filmed, th thinking it looked like uh, East Berlin, and uh, we're going on various greenways that are connected. Uh, they call them Coulee Verte, and we can get all the way north of here to other other cities in the farther off suburbs. We're in the north suburbs of France now. So I'm hoping to not make John have to cross any traffic along the way. Right, right. And you just said the northern suburbs of France, but I think you meant the northern suburbs of, of Paris. Paris. Of yeah. Paris, yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> we, we think Paris is France. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's not quite. <laughs> right, right. All right, well, let's go ride this. Okay. And it is a natural surface trail that we're on here. And that sign over there mm -hmm. is saying that they they do not manu manicure this uh, uh, the garden here. Right. So they basically do very very light touch. Right. On the uh, on the gardens. Right. You see the there is a tractor there doing some light stuff, but. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, they've let everything just kind of grow. And you'll notice that with the pruning as well. And uh, just for, for your interest, uh, this sounds like a uh, something really retro, but the mayor of this city is a communist. They have a communist mayor. Okay. Okay, so they have a communist mayor. Yep. And uh, he's just like all the other mayors. <laughs> yeah, and just like all the other mayors. Very good. What's in a name? Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this structure here. A very odd looking structure. Ah, it's a school, of course. Let's uh, let's put the kids in a school that looks like a prison. Right. <laughs> All right. Looks like we'll make our way to the other side of our two-way track. So it's interesting. So the the way this is uh, done, you've got your allay of trees here, and you have a path on either side, and then a little relatively unkept green space in between. Like a bicycle pedestrian boulevard. Yeah, bicycle pedestrian boulevard. Along the freeway. Okay. There's a bicycle for you. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go through another spot. On okay. Side. On the other side. And so down there is where the freeway is. It's suppressed down underneath there. It's suppressed down underneath. Yep. And that structure there, that ugly structure, is, is a. Uh, Biofuel place, controversial because some people say that they shouldn't be burning wood and the mm -hmm. other people say that, that it's better than burning uh, uh, fossil fuels. So it's a place of controversy. Right, yep, yep. You're burning something. And there it is. Another skate park. So I didn't have to take you through this the obstacle course, John, but uh, yeah. Have a little bit of everything.
yeah, the, the Dutch would just be rolling their eyes at that. They're just like, oh, you don't do things that make it difficult for people to ride bikes. Right. <laughs> All right. Very delightful little green space. Now we're going to get a little paper one. I hope your audience doesn't mind that I I'm using my wife's uh, woman, woman's bike today. Oh, we don't call them women's bikes. Okay. Uh, we just call them step through frames. Okay, well that I have to tell my wife because she said you're not going to take a woman's bike. Nope. They, uh, they no longer do the gender on them. In fact, when we look in communities that are truly bike friendly, right. uh, you typically see half of uh, all males riding are now riding step through frame oh, bikes. Beautiful. They're just easier. They're way easier to get around. And Absolutely. if you know you're getting off frequently, it's right. so much easier. Especially with all these obstacles. That's right, yeah. Sure. You see this over here? Yeah. Okay. Now, it's not that the French suburbs are completely unlike the American suburbs. Right. They have their shopping centers, but they're embarrassed to show the parking lot yeah. in front of the street. Ah. So they cover up. They yeah. cover up the parking lot. So because uh, uh, parking lots are very, very unsightly. So right. let's so cover it up with a nice parking lot. nice hedge here. I like it. I would prefer no parking lot, but if you're going to have one, hide the damn thing. So we're crossing the tramway over there. Okay. another pond uh, that's where maybe we can stop and have a sandwich and then we're gonna go through here we're still going north not in a straight line and then uh, in order to continue north we're gonna go along the Seine River and go over a, go over a bridge and, and then I'll have other surprises along along the way Looks like they have a, a little railroad of some yeah. sort in here. So, yeah, you know, they, there's the lake. Okay. The railroad, you can cross the, uh, cross the whole part of the railroad. Okay, very good. Sort of like half a railroad, half a train. Yeah, yeah. About the size of Lionel train. Right. We're going to be here left for a second. All right. So this is one of the bird watching stands. Yeah, we don't have any action going on here. Not too much. Ah, this one. Over there, I think it's a, a gray oh, yeah. heron. Oh yeah. I think it's a gray heron out there. Yeah, that looks like a heron. I know those I guys. I think I have a picture of the same guy. Yeah. All right, after that little, uh, stop at the bird stand. We're back on the main path. Do 
Yeah, you were saying earlier, not not quite the fall colors yet. Not not quite. Normally right. we start getting them about this time, but yeah, uh, we had some hot weather a couple weeks ago. Okay, and, and what what is a department? A department is the big bigger areas are called regions. Okay, and the and the smaller areas but not small at all are called departments ah. I'm, it's hard to say what that would be in, in English right and they usually have photo expositions of things typical of their department so. okay yeah that's a good question what is it and then in the city of Paris the city is divided up into sections right and that would that's be like boroughs in New York. Boroughs, so. And that that name is the Arrondissement or that's something. That's right, Arrondissement. Uh, yep, I actually pronounced it almost right. correct that time. of the Seine. We're up here to the north of the city. These uh, structures have seen better days. These boats. <laughs> they look like they're rust buckets. <laughs> That park on the other side of the Seine is Ile Saint Denis. So you took 39 days, and 39, you did. 39 days, and yeah. I and I had to. I, the rule was that every day had to have a new destination. Yeah. And even coming back, for example, to to sustain the illusion of a through road trip. Right. If I had to do shopping. I did my shopping on the way back on the bike. Wow. I didn't, like, I didn't go home yeah. and then go out and do the shopping. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I... I the, uh, the creating that illusion of being on that uh, bike trip. Yeah, there you get some beautiful... Uh, the river is really nice over there. Yeah. And that's actually an island in the Seine. An island in the Seine. Yeah. Almost sounds like there should be a song. Yeah. An island in the sun. And then now you're going to see an industrial song that breaks up the sun, sun uh, bike uh, path. Uh, but at the other side, the sun bike path continues, and you can take it all the way to Normandy to the beach. Just ah. follow the sun. It's a much longer trip than if you went in a straight line because the sun is constantly meandering right right how long of a trip would that be all the way to Normandy well I've done I've done to uh, a city called Yep Normandy and it was uh, two days two days okay uh, but uh, I'm a slow bicycle too, yeah so. yeah you weren't you weren't racing I'm not racing. You're, you weren't on the tour no and get a little bit of a sense of the industrial nature right here. Yeah, Some of the structures. Industrial zone. Yeah. And this is a relatively common concept of industrial zones along the rivers because that's one of the ways where they were able to get the barges and the ships in to be able to get to the factories right along the there you go the those areas and we see the same thing with rail trails you know yeah same thing with the so, uh, the railroad rail trails in france too. yeah yeah same same kind of type of concept and so frequently you'll see along rivers and along rail trails some of the remnants of the old industrial buildings What's interesting and fun is to see a lot of those old buildings get new lives 
you know, uh, along the rail trails and along the the river trails. Right. As uh, you know, the, those trails really take life, and then brings people in, and suddenly, well, on the way to folks, Normandy, did, yeah. There's a rail trail half the distance, and. Uh, they've conserved yeah. all the old train stations. Ah, uh, yeah, so see, it really yeah. Looks beautiful. Yeah. I think some of them be, have become cafes, and so it's uh, it's pretty. Yeah. I'm going through a little tunnel of trees here. The side of the bridge. Right. So there's a towpath on the other side there. Right. Yeah. Okay. But one that's particularly interesting. You're in the you're in the city of Epinay, or the town of Epinay, uh -huh. and I call it the Beverly Hills of Epinay because you have all these houses built practically on a horizontal cliff. Uh -huh. Then it goes through a um, uh, like a cathedral of woods, mm -hmm. and then it ends up in, in nowhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> it ends okay. up nowhere. Yeah, yeah. So and we, can, we can take that one. Uh, that only takes a few minutes. Okay. And then we then we can uh, scoot back. And the and the other towpath is the mm -hmm. one that takes you to the to the uh, set to the uh, Saint Denis Canal. Uh -huh. Okay. Yep. Okay. Which you can. It will meander its way to into Paris. Yep. Yep. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.